Okay, so in this video we're going to go over more on 7-zip and how to compress and decompress and break up files. Um, if you do not have 7-zip, please watch my previous video on how to install it. It's a very quick install and it's a great lightweight compression program. So here on my desktop I have a folder with an ISO for Kali Linux. And what we're going to do is we're going to compress this and watch the size change. Currently, this is a 874, correction, 71 megabyte file. And after we compress it, we'll see how small we can get it. So, 7-zip. Uh, if you right-click on the ISO or the target you want to compress, you should have a 7-zip option. And what we want to do is add it to archive. That will bring up the compression menu here, and we can tell it what type of format we want to use. Um, basic zip, a tar, G zip, or 7 zip is probably the best for now. Compression level. Um, normal is usually the best. I uh, have used ultra before, and, but we'll go for a maximum. Okay, here, word byte size, block size. All this stuff we can keep. We're just doing a basic compression for now. So we're going to tell it OK. And it will begin the compression. Now, depending on your file, this could take several minutes, even hours. But for uh, less than one gig, this shouldn't take about more than a minute. I'm going to pause the video for now and we'll come back when it's closer to done. Okay, so we got eight seconds left. Um, overall, this less than one megabyte file only took maybe a minute and a half after all of this is done and let's see how much we compressed it by okay so we shaved off a few megabytes off of it not too bad not as dramatic as you would think because this is just one ISO but when you do this to several other items, shaving off even one megabyte out of 500 files saves 500 megabytes. So that is how you compress an image or compress files. Now to decompress it, 7-zip um, will see many different types of file compressions and simply just right click and you want to tell it to extract here and then it will go through the process of extracting it. See, it's already finished. Um, it notices there's an image or a file of the same type. I'm going to tell it no. So this is going to finish up, and that's what it would look like if it decompressed it here. Um, I think that's it for now on how to compress and decompress. Uh, if you see a zip or a tar, you can use 7-zip to unpack them. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I'm going to go up some more advanced. Um, packing and unpacking of items, how to break down this 800 megabyte ISO into say a 40 100 meg or 8 100 megabyte ISO files and then how to bring those back together. So watch the next video on that and thank you for watching.